Hey all, Tony Bing here. Hello and welcome back to another video from Marvel Strike Force. Now, we have another Killmonger video today. The ones we covered yesterday were the initial impressions and also I, I played around with some T8 Blitz thrown in Kingpin there, a combo that's really pretty fun now. For today's video anyway, it's T8 Blitz once more, but this time it's community suggestions that I've actually asked for, so I'll be showing off teams that you've all suggested. So, let's see the first team we'll be using. This first team here was suggested by Alex L. So we have Killmonger, of course. We have Kingpin there for the offence up and the defence up, which will trigger Killmonger's passive. We then have Crossbones for the turn two ultimate. Spidey's there for the defence down that works really nice with the ultimates and Crossbones and Killmonger. And then we have Hand Sentry for some survivability as well. So I have a feeling here this one could be pretty difficult due to the, the team we're fighting at Killmonger's health already. I knew this one would be tricky but I figured I would give it a shot. So we've got the defence down now. It takes us a moment to start up. Once we do, we should do pretty well here. Now, let's see, what will we go for? I actually use the basic because that way we can drain and get some health back because he's really low as it is. It's only a tiny amount we got back there. It's just due to the fact that he's not really powered up much so he's not doing much damage. We then have crossbones there, of course we don't want to taunt up on him. So it's in this second turn, hopefully, I can start to make a difference. Doctor Strange should miss here anyway. Let's see. We'll actually just use the, the basic here. The stun wouldn't work on Thanos and it seems a waste to use it on Drax. He should hopefully be down soon. So a couple of characters get hit with that due to, unfortunately, the Vade being eaten up. Right, let's see. So we've now got the, the ultimate here. We get a crit hit on it. Means he'll throw out the mine. There we go. You can see the animation there. So that's really nice. And then we'll start to concentrate on Thanos. We've got the explosion. That's awesome stuff. So let's see this Thanos here. 32,000. We'll go for the ultimate. I was blinded there, unfortunately, I missed that. Ultimate does a ton of damage as well. Now, I want to avoid calling in summons, because that will just provide Thanos with energy if he defeats them. Let's see, our health's way back up on Killmonger, actually. So that's really nice. Wow. That was awesome. We actually do get Drain as well on the special, I suppose, that comes, I think, possibly via part of his passive. But the basic has more Drain. So this was a really difficult team to go up against, but... I'm pretty certain we're going to smash it. There we go. Wow, Killmonger finishing off there. Nice team. Let's check out the next one. This next team then was suggested by David Alexander. We have Iron Man and Gamora in there for the increased crit chance for Killmonger. We then have Cap and Black Widow. So Black Widow will speed up Cap, meaning there's more chance he can get his defense up skill. Off in that in turn will give a, an assist via Killmonger. So let's jump in. Here we go. Fair amount of damage dealers and other teams, so this one could actually be pretty tricky. Depending where Daredevil goes, he could give me a lot of trouble with Killmonger. He could maybe even knock him out, to be honest. Let's see. We'll actually burn down Deadpool here first. Once we've done him, we'll then move on to Crossbones. This is going to be tricky. Quite a few characters that are dangerous here. Don't know, thinking about it, crossbones I probably want to start burning down. Let's go for the Unibeam here. Three red stars. Does seem like he's soaking up a fair bit of damage. Then we've got the ultimate. If we use it on crossbones, the counter attack will break the chain. So I don't want to use that. Let's just use the basic here. And then hopefully we can take out crossbones. There we go, that's awesome. Then on to Deadpool now. Then we've got the AoE on everyone. Hopefully take out Deadpool. Yep, yeah, there we go. From here, because Gamora has a fence up, we'll try and take her out pretty soon. Let's actually go for this. That's great. And then we'll steal the speed up from Yondu, although saying that, Let's actually take out Gamora, just to be safe, because her characters are low, and she could potentially get a chain there. Here we go, we're getting our own chain. 
Will Killmonger get the final move here? He certainly will, hopefully. Let's slow it down. See if we get any special animations for a finisher. And there we go. Done. So that was nice as well. And that was a, a pretty tricky team there. So let's check out the next setup. So this is the next setup we have here. This one looks to be built around all the various different forms of assist we'll get. And hopefully chains we'll get via the likes of Black Panther as well. So here we go. We have another all-out damage team we're going up against. Looking at the characters to take down. Cable's the weakest, so we'll try and take him down first. The Merc Riot Guard may not last very long. Although he's a protector because he was the, the lowest by far. Power-wise out of all the characters. Hopefully he can get his defence up off anyway. will be happy enough if we can do that. That was really nice, that crit on Deadpool there. Almost took out... Oh, there we go. With the assist, we took out Cable. So that's great. Got slow on everyone. Let's see, we'll go for the special here. We'll start to burn down. Who will we go for? Let's see. Let's actually go for... Hard to decide here. I'm going to go for Deadpool. Otherwise he'll ignore the taunt and that could be pretty tricky. A lot of characters can be dangerous, but I would say they're not as bad. Deadpool will be taking out the Riot Guard. Here we go, let's fire off the ultimate here. Hopefully get a crit on it. That's your crit there, so that's awesome. The ultimate's really great. That and the drain for me is really what where Killmonger's power comes from. I meant to click on Deadpool there, unfortunately. Oh, that was a mistake. Here we go. We'll take him out this time. Awesome stuff. Black Panther fills his speed bar potentially three times there. You see him going one after the other. Here we go again. Awesome. Black Panther really is pretty amazing, and I'm wondering how he'll be in a full Wakandan team if they can take advantage of him even more. Would be nice to see, but that was another great team, so let's check out the next one. Final team we have here then was suggested by Toxic Pineapple. So this is a Merc team with all these characters, and it is a nice mix of offense and defense. So here we go. So with this setup as well, we'll get two assists from Killmonger due to the two characters casting defense up. Now, starting off here anyway, let's hopefully see if we can get the ability block on Thanos. That would really help. Otherwise, I could be stuck on him. Just a heal block, unfortunately. This one's going to be tricky, actually, looking at it. I'll try and take out Quake if I can. I don't want her getting her ultimate off. Got some charges there. Let's go for the fence down, hopefully. Yep, we managed to get it, that's nice. The real problem here will be Thanos, because I'll be stuck on him for so long, but we do have some AoEs coming up. That will hopefully help out. I can't believe that slow actually took effect. I didn't want that to happen. You don't want to slow him when he's taunting, because then we're stuck on him for longer. Here we go, for the detonate at least. And that's pretty nice. And Killmonger pretty soon, and we don't have anything that will break the chain. So that's awesome. He's got a fence up as well. Let's see. Let's just go for this again. Come on, Killmonger. Right, here we go. This should do some serious damage here, hopefully. Especially if he crits. There we go, there's a crit. Wow, absolutely love that. And then the mine at the end as well. Amazing stuff. That for me really defines Killmonger the Ultimate. Look at that. That was a thing of beauty. What a way to finish up the video. Awesome. Boom. There we go. Done. I'm not even going to do my outro or anything like that. There we go. Boom.